Hey everybody, what's going on? And welcome back to another Helldiver Sioux video. As you all know, Arrowhead decided to update the game recently and nerf all of our beloved support weapons. But of all those nerfs, one gun came out on the other side, not only unscathed, but stronger than ever before. That's right, talked about the laser cannon. This thing went from the worst support weapon in the game, hands down, to what could possibly be the best. Let's go over why you should be running the laser cannon and what makes it so great with its recent buffs. When talking about the laser cannon, we are going to talk about its effectiveness against the terminids. You can make minor changes in your loadout if you want to take on the automatons, and I'll go over that briefly, but for now, it's all about the bugs. When going up against small enemies, I found best success by using the laser cannon, guard dog, and incendiary grenade combo. Grenades can be used to lay down a wall of fire that causes damage over time to your enemies walking through it. The guard dog can finish off everything making it through the fire and getting just a little bit too close. Combo these with the laser cannon and you can clear out huge hordes very quickly. If you want to take it up against the automatons, I would just change out the guard dog for the shield backpack and change the incendiary grenades for impact and you're ready to go. We can't talk about the small enemies without talking about the overheat. This gun uses coils, just like the other laser weapons in this game, but its only drawback is once you overheat and need to reload, it's just like the auto cannon, making you immobile. This is easily avoidable though, once the weapon gets close to overheating, you will hear an audible buzzing noise and you can just switch to your primary or secondary to finish off the threat. By the time you need to reload your primary or secondary, the laser cannon will be ready to go again. Now it's time to talk about the important enemies, the big boys, the chargers. I know, I know, your primary can deal with all the small enemies, if you brought a support weapon so you can kill the bigger enemies, well do I have good news for you. As you saw by that cheesy intro clip, you can easily do so. If you focus your laser on a single leg of a charger, you can kill it before you even overheat. In fact, it's so effective that I've been able to take out multiple chargers at once without any issues. Now if you do want to take it against a Hulk, it's just as easy, just shoot it in the face instead of the legs. You may be saying to yourself, yeah, killing chargers is great and all, but I want to kill bot titans. Well, do I have even more good news for you. You can. It's a bit more difficult to deal with larger enemies, but that goes for any support weapon you bring. But for the bile titans, all you have to do is use an orbital rail cannon strike, break open the armor on its back, and focus your fire on its flesh, and you can take it out with no problems. Now, if you are waiting on a cooldown, you can do damage to it just by shooting it directly. You just have to be a bit more precise, and it's going to take a lot more damage to take it down. If you are wondering, yes, you can take out a tank, and no, you don't need an orbital to destroy its armor first. You just need a buddy to distract it, and then you can just shoot it in the vent and take it out. Or you can be dumb and reckless like me and do this. For my final thoughts, I think the laser cannon is insanely powerful. I actually had a lot of fun using this weapon and would highly recommend it to everybody who's looking to change up the gameplay a little bit and start enjoying the game a little bit more after all the rough updates we've been getting. I truly hope that Arrowhead doesn't decide to nerf this gun, even though it's slightly overpowered. It still won't be the sole reason you win a game, but you will enjoy that game for sure. Thank you to everybody for watching. Leave a comment and let me know how you guys feel about this weapon or if you even want to give it a shot. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys down there in the fight for democracy.